Hey guys, this is Pastor Jermaine here. I want to thank you for joining me for today's Fresh in Five, where I am going to, for those of you who are new, share a fresh word from God, or prayerfully at least offer you some fresh perspective on the word in a span of five minutes. I'm excited about the word today, so I want to ask you to get your Bibles out if you can. And I want you to flip those pages. We're going to go to Matthew 25. I want to make a connection with uh, what I'm talking about today with my last video. We looked at, uh, it was called Losing to Gain or Gaining to Lose. And we looked at Mark 8:36, where Jesus says, What does it profit a man if he gain the whole world but lose his own soul? What will a man give in exchange for his soul? And so I want to look at uh, this paradox uh, between gaining and losing and we talked about how it's like having two sides to a coin a heads and a tails and how gaining and losing there is a gaining and a losing if you're going to gain something if you're going to gain health and fitness uh, you're going to lose unhealthy habits you're going to gain discipline if you're going to gain education and knowledge and go to college you're going to lose ignorance if you're going to be married you're going to gain a wife and possibly children but you're going to lose certain freedoms and things you were accustomed to as a single. And so we look at how if you're going to gain, you're going to lose. And I want to continue along this uh, stream of thought in looking in Matthew chapter 25. I'm going to paraphrase it for you. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. But um, it says here in Matthew 25, Jesus says in verse 14, Again, the kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by the story of a man going on a long trip. He called together his servants and entrusted his money to them while he was gone. Now, it goes on to say he gave to one five bags of silver. He gave to another two. And he gave to the last one one according to their abilities. And after returning for this, from this trip, he asked them this question. What did you do with that I've given you? And to the one who he'd given five, he doubled his and he made ten. And the master goes, well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful with little. I'm going to make you ruler over much. To the one who had the two talents, he also doubled his. And the master says, well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful with little. I'm going to make you ruler over much. And the one who had the one talent and the one uh, bag of silver I want to focus on because he buried his. And when the master asks him what he did with it, he says, I knew you were a harsh man and a shrewd man. And I was afraid of losing your money, so I buried it. And the master rebukes him and says, Get away from me, you wicked and slothful servant. If you knew that I was a man who was harsh and I, I cultivated fields, I didn't plant, why didn't you at least invest my money? And so I want to look at this because like these men in, these, in this story, we all have been given talents from God. And we all are going to be held accountable one day. What did you do? with that I'd given you. And like this last servant, we too can make excuses and say, well, Lord, I didn't do this because I had a bad childhood, or I didn't do this, Lord, because I had a bad marriage breakup, or, or I didn't do this because my father was lousy, or I, because my mother was on drugs, or, or they were in prison. We all have our reasons for what, what I like to call what we bury our talents and abilities. And it's, our excuses don't excuse us. You see, the truth of the matter is this. This last servant was fearful. His fear and his insecurities are what caused him to bury his talent. Not the master. He, he says the master, you, you, he blames the master. But in turn, the fault lies on him and his fear and his insecurities. You see, some people are so afraid of losing what they never gain. And in this new year, some of us, we're so afraid. We're so afraid of losing what we have. We're in a bad relationship, but, and we need to get into a good one. But we're so afraid of losing that we never gain. We cannot allow fear to rob us of all that God has for us, to rob us of all that there is to gain in Jesus Christ. I hope this word has encouraged you. I hope that you are receiving from it today. I leave you with this. Be encouraged. Be blessed. And above all, stay fresh. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like it, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. God bless.